I'm a proud liberal Democrat. My family taught me Jewish social values, about caring for those who have less, those principles that deal with the poor and with those who are struggling, be it who are physically ill or who are mentally ill. I feel that my experience, both as a physician, as a surgeon, and as an advocate, has been a continuation of learning how to give back to society and learning that the, the value of, of a life is not what you take, but what you give back. I'm running for the Maryland State Senate here in District 18 because it's time for progress. It's time to take the next step and bring economic justice, as well as social justice, not only to our community here in Montgomery County, but to Maryland in general. It's time to create a completely progressive delegation which can lead in Annapolis. We need to be able to seize the moment and do big things and not be afraid of doing big things. We need to be able to stand up for our values and fight for them. And when we get hit from the right, we need to be able to fight back. These are bold ideas which motivate large segments of our society. And we need to use them and promote them and encourage them as best we can because we have very, very serious problems on the horizon. The biggest challenge in 2014 is the one of economics. Better jobs, more high paying jobs, fairer wages for people who are laboring today under great stress, paid sick leave, paid family leave, improved child care, universal pre-K and such. We need to be willing to borrow money at very, very extremely low interest rates to build the infrastructure we need, whether it's new schools or new roads or public transportation systems such as the Purple Line and, and the BRT system to link all the communities in Montgomery County with public transit. We need to do it when money is still cheap. There are many problems that have been swept under the rug because of tough economic times, it's time now that we stand up and do the right thing and help those who are most marginalized and most vulnerable. It is our primary goal. It is the primary service that government provides because government is, after all, nothing more than neighbor serving neighbor. And we need to take care of our neighbors.